Hello everybody and welcome on board this uh, Dynacraft 51 for a look around her upper deck to give you an idea of what's here, where it's fitted and how it looks. So as you can see we're on the port side here, I'll provide a little bit of uh, music in the background if you can hear it. Just looking up you can see for the flybridge we've got a nice cover here looking in nice nick from where I am and uh, that's all strapped down nicely and then running all the way down the superstructure on the inboard side you can see we've got a nice hand hold which uh, rail which i'm going to hold on to as i'm walking through uh, looking down you can see that we've got a step down here from the companion way to the after deck we've got the, the diesel filler here we have a drain we've got a nice wide deck to just wander around uh, wander forwards past all the windows on the starboard or the inboard side and the nice solid guard rails on the outboard side there to stop us uh, taking a bit of a dip and as you can see we've got uh, one or two cleats here as well which are going to give you uh, that flexibility for berthing uh, lots of teak everywhere the teak goes all the way around the upper deck and uh, there's some wear and tear to it i'd say but uh, it's feeling good so far but it does look nice and clean so let's make our way forwards along the port waist port bulwark or port side deck onto the uh, forward deck and as you can see if i just turn round we've got the, the bridge screen here we've got a searchlight and a horn there you can just see above we have a screen that's covered up for the flying bridge and a radar uh, archway up there and uh, lovely great big windows that complement the side windows there to give us a uh, great lighting and great visibility when we're piloting the vessel now just looking at the fore deck you can see what a, a great big huge fore deck it is we've got lots of hatches giving light and air down below we've got grab rails and we've also got a large area here for lounging with an indent which i think uh, would uh, really benefit from a nice new mattress or uh, or lilo etc to uh, allow people to sit there in the sun and enjoy themselves and then finally towards the bow you can see that we've got the anchor sitting in its bow roller and the electric windlass too so we'll just uh, make our way over there there we go a bit of a close-up at the deck to give you an idea there we go and uh the foredeck is uh, just uh, undergoing a little bit of preservation. That is shortly to be sanded and uh, uh, painted with some kind of grippy substance. There we go. So there's the electric windlass and there's the delta anchor sitting in its bow roller ready for use. If I just turn around, we can look along the length of the foredeck. There we go. Lovely, great big foredeck, nice big windows. And we'll make our way back towards the stern of the boat along the starboard side. And as you can see, nice and easy to traverse in this direction, plenty of room. And we come once again to the grab rail along here, a bit that takes us to the garden gate area. So really lovely to, uh, and easy to get on and off and uh, straight to the companion way door to get into the boat itself. So this has been Tim from Boat Shed Drop Brokers. He's taking you for a quick look at the exterior, sorry, the upper deck of this Dynacraft 51. For more pictures, videos and virtual reality, just go to BoatShedBrighton.com. See you there. Thanks for watching.